In this video, we're gonna learn how to create, manage, and export artboards in Photoshop. Additionally, I will include some tips to give you even more control over this tool. Let's begin. To create a project with an artboard, create a new file, and in the window that appears, check Artboard from the preset options. For this one, we're gonna go with 1080 by 1350, which is the new size for Instagram posts. Click Create, and you'll see a blank artboard appear in your workspace. If you already have a document open, simply go to Layer, New, and choose Artboard. You can also select the Artboard tool from the toolbar, then click and drag to create a new artboard anywhere in your workspace. Adding more artboards is pretty simple. With the Artboard tool selected, click the plus icons around your existing artboard to create additional ones. Each artboard acts like an independent canvas, which is suitable for designing multiple layouts. To rename an artboard, double-click its name in the Layers panel and type a new name. Each artboard contains its own set of layers, keeping everything organized. You can move elements between artboards using the Move tool or by dragging layers in the Layers panel. Once your designs are ready, here's how to export them. Go to File, Export, and then Artboards to Files. Here you can choose the destination, file format, and a prefix that's going to be added before the artboard name. If you have selected one artboard before opening this menu, you can choose to export only that one. Or if you uncheck this setting, you will export all artboards at once. Now here are a few bonus tips for using artboards more effectively. Hold Option or Alt while dragging elements to quickly duplicate them across artboards. You can enable guides and grids to align elements across multiple artboards. For that, go to View, Guides, New Guide Layout. The target drop-down menu allows you to choose between the selected artboard or all of them. And once you set that in place, the grids will be visible whenever you select a specific artboard. When you select the Artboard tool, you can choose from a few size presets. If you want to create your own preset, go to File, New, and choose the size and all the other settings. Then check Artboards and click this icon to create a preset. Give it a name, and now whenever you select the Artboard tool, you can find your preset at the top. You can quickly switch the orientation of the artboard by clicking on these two buttons. These will show up when you have the Artboard tool selected. If you have a lot of artboards, right-click an artboard in the Layers panel and assign a color to visually organize your project. Another way of exporting a specific artboard is right-clicking it in the Layers panel, and here you have Export As. Choose your settings and click Export to select a location. And that's it for this Artboards tutorial, guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you want to learn more, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.